Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana Black Stars players. Now the EPL clubs have started chasing the Black Stars of Ghana's players. And um, in a way, it is a good news for the players to get new clubs to play. We are going to check out Mohamed Kudus. What is the latest news coming in on Manchester United, Everton and other clubs chasing him? Then Kamal Din Suleimana might also be heading straight into the EPL or the German Bundesliga. We will check the latest news coming in. Thomas Tepate, um, what is the latest coming on him? Tony Adams has tipped him as the best player in the season. That is in the EPL. He says that he is his best player already. We will check it out here on this channel. Then it is confirmed, done, signed and sealed. The Black Stars of Ghana's midfielder Elisha Usu has also joined a new club. Let's talk about this and more. Before then, kindly like the video, drop a like after liking. Make sure you smash the subscribe button to join the family. If you are new, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. Before we enter into the other news, let's talk about Kamal Din Sulemana. This player is a very, very, very good player. And today, according to Fabrizio Romano, he is, in fact, one of the best or top guys when it comes to transfer news on players. And um, he has confirmed that Kamal Din Suleimana um, might be heading straight into the EPL or the German Bundesliga. He said exclusive Kamal Din Suleimana is open to leaving um, Stad Rene in January. Everton are exploring loan with um, a buy clause deal. Um, Osberg and Bournemouth have also asked for Suleimana as he could leave due to game time. So uh, we might see Kamal Din Suleimana uh, maybe leaving to Everton. Don't forget Everton were also interested in signing Mohamed Kudus. And now if they do not get Kudus, they might go in for the Black Stars of Ghana's ringer Kamal Din Suleimana. He's very, very good top talent. That many things that because of game time that he's not getting a star in recent times, it is actually affecting him. Yesterday, as of the time recording this video, he played against um, Paris Saint-Germain. He had only 8 minutes, but he tried to do one or two super incursions for himself. He's a very good player, but for injuries, that has been worrying his um, you know, improvement as a player. When he returned, the coach has been keeping him on the bench. So, according to Fabrizio Romano, Everton are exploring a loan with buyback clause for their player. So that's an update coming in. So let's wait and see whether he'll go to Everton, Osbeck, or AFC Bournemouth in the EPL. Now let's talk about um other news coming in on Kudus Mohammed. So what is host is that Manchester United are still interested in signing the Ghana star Mohammed Kudus from Ayas. Don't forget Kudus uh, before the World Cup, he has scored some 10 goals for the um Ayas side. And he went to the World Cup, scored two goals for Ghana, provided one assist. He is doing very well for himself as a midfielder. Since he returned to IRC, he has played one game. That's the game he played against FC20 when he came on on the 46 minutes to play a part in there. He was affected with flu because of that. He was out for some time. But Kudus is back and playing for Ayas. And Manchester United side are still eyeing to get him to join them. Eric Ten Hag once coached him at um ayas and he is still looking forward to get kudu so as it stands now still they are looking forward to get him and everton are still included in the deal but everton um kudus would like to join a club that he can play with a champions league so i don't think everton will be a good move for kudus for now so let's wait and see how things will go now before we go to elisha and other news let's talk about thomas tay party thomas tay party is one super midfielder in the ep uh, in recent time we saw the debate between thomas party casimero rodrigo um, among them, they were asking who was the better uh, midfielder or DM in the EPL. And national legend Tony Adams has named Black Stars midfielder Thomas Partey as his current best player in the ongoing 2022-2023 English Premier League season. And um, the Black Stars deputy captain has been in superb form for Arsenal, who are currently occupying the first position after 19 games in the Premier League. Thomas Partey also starred in North London derby against Tottenham Hotspurs on Sunday. January 15, 2023, and he caught the eye of Tony Adams in the process. According to Tony Adams, he said, My player of the season so far is Pate because he's been out of the world. He's Patrick Vieira and Manu Petit rolled into one. Wow, fantastic. Meaning that Pate is, uh, you know, Patrick Vieira and Manu Petit rolled into one person. Wow. He said, If you don't push someone on him, he will dictate the game because he breaks things up for fun and gets the whole team playing. 
Tony Adams said after the game. So according to him, he feels that Thomas Partey is the best player in the EPL this particular season because he breaks things up easily and if you do not actually <laughs> prevent him, he's going to destroy your team. So that's an update coming in from the camp of Thomas Partey this season. He has already been in superb form. The last game he played against Tottenham Hospital, I couldn't, um, you know, bring you updates on him. He played 90 minutes and had 87 touches. Out of the 87 touches he had, he gave a 66 passes, which was completed out of the 72 attempted. Then um, passes, he gave 14 passes into the final third. Eight ball recoveries for him. Four out of five long balls, um, long passes completed. Four out of five ground balls won. Two blocks, two tackles won one shot of the woodwork and that shot in fact it was a fantastic one that should that ball get in maybe we will be talking about um, you know a different story altogether and um, Pate is really playing well for Arsenal in the EPL now let's come and end all on Black Stars of Ghana's midfielder Elisha Owusu Elisha Owusu has also completed um, you know a deal to join French leg side AJ Oze from um, KLC Gent um, he plays for Gent in the belgium super league and now he has joined aj Oze in the french leg one elisha also statistics so far this season he has played six games and um it is good for him because 2020 2021 season he played 17 games 2021 2022 he played 11 games but this season he was getting to a very good start and i'm um, where he has gone to is a familiar grounds that he can actually play and play well don't forget OG, AJ was there we have black stars of Ghana's left back Gideon Mensa who plays for the team already so joining him there will be a very good um environment for him to be at so um he has joined the club and we wish him all the best so he has moved to join the French League One on a two-year deal that is also an update coming in on um Elisha also we wish him well and we hope that he will continue to play and play well for himself and also the black stars of Ghana. In the World Cup, he went with the team, but he didn't get some minutes to play um, in there. So, these are the latest news on Kudus Mohamed. Still, Manchester United are still eyeing to get him to join them in the EPL as they are now doing marvelous things in the EPL. Everton, Bournemouth, Osbeck are all eyeing the Black Stars of Ghana's winger Kamal Adin Sulemana. Then, I also brought you an update on Thomas Tepate. According to Arsenal legend, he thinks that he is the best player in the EPL so far. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.